Okay, now to set the this up, the first thing we're going to do is go into the variables. And we're going to scroll down to the user defined variables. So these are the ones that that came in through the import. And we're going to set the cookie base URL. In this case, uh, this is kevindavis.com. And it tells you where um, that variable is used as well. Then we're going to save that. And then we're going to go into our tags. And remember, the cookie bar is the part that shows up at the bottom. So basically, it has just custom HTML in here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to change this from technical marketing dot guide um, to be kevindavis.com. And so there's two links in there that we need to update. <clears throat> and that's all we need to update in here as well. So those are the two changes I made um, just to go back and refresh. So that was one thing that I did not change on the uh, setting scene cookies. Let's take a look at this. So it's using the cookie base path. You could you could change your cookie expiration time. Um, that isn't, and I ended up using the same uh, URL. So if you do a different URL for your cookie settings, then um, you would have to change this. If you don't change it, if you're using the same settings uh, URL, the same page name, then there wouldn't be a change required to that. And that's why it worked on paidtraffic.com because I used cookie-settings um, on that. So you're all set there. And um, just to look and see at the code from paid traffic that I modified originally. Let me show you the same settings in there so you can change the styles on here if you wanted to and then we have paid traffic uh, .com privacy and actually we do need to change it in here because I did put I took the dash out on this eventually so let's see the setting scene cookie this uh, would actually fire on cookie settings And there you go.